All right, let's look at animating position size and rotation in After Effects. So here we are back in our, our, our project and we had started with um, creating a, a shape and making it perfect. And we're gonna toggle down all of those transform tools and I'm gonna delete the opacity uh, um, keyframes that we had made. And I'm gonna set this to one second. And what I wanna do is I wanna animate the square rising up and setting into place. So lots of times it's easier to start where you want the object to end up. It's easier to start where you want the object to end up than uh, having to figure out where you, you know, how to get it started. Start it where you want and then animate backwards. So I'm gonna set a keyframe here by clicking on the position stopwatch. So I've successfully set a keyframe. Now I'm gonna set the um, magnification to 50% so I can see more of the canvas and then with my move tool, I'm just going to click and drag. Oh, um, let's do this. Let's set the first keyframe. Let's set it to the beginning here. And now I'll click and drag. And you'll see I get this kind of a, of a spring thing. And now I'm, I'm doing my animation. So if I drag, it's pretty hard to get it to drag straight. So I hold down the shift key. And when I hold down the shift key, it'll snap to vertical and horizontal. And I'm going to drag it straight down. And now when I hit the play button, it plays right up in place. I can take the uh, timeline and shorten it so it only plays the part of the, uh, of the project that I want to see. That's the way it goes. There we go. See, it's going to stop inside of there, right? OK. So what else can I do? All right. So let's say that I wanted to uh, scale the object up in addition to uh, having it fly into place. I'm going to set the keyframe for scale, right? So I can scale it horizontally and vertically, or I can unlock and scale one without the other. I'm going to set the scale to 100%. So I want it to be the size it is when the project, when it rests. And then I'll go back to the first keyframe, and it, I can see this like a outline of the shape, and I'll just set it to, I can uh, drag this, or I can clicking here and enter an increment. Let's say I want it to be 50% of its original size. And now it's 50% of the size. So in addition to flying up, it's also scaling up. Let's set another keyframe. Let's uh, do the rotation. So I'm going to set it back at the, at the uh, first keyframe or the, the last keyframe in the, uh, the animation. I'm going to turn on the rotation. Then I'll go to the in or the beginning of the animation and choose how much I want it to rotate. Let's say I want it to rotate by 90 degrees. And now it should rotate as it comes up. See, so that's basically how I can do an animation. Lots of times when you're animating something, sometimes it's easier to set the keyframe where you can see it on the screen and then drag it into place uh, after you set it. And so, for instance, if I were to change the rotation again, it would be rotating from this point to this point to this point. So if I want to change the original rotation point, I have to make sure I'm back on that original keyframe, or otherwise I'm just adding an extra keyframe somewhere along the way. So now if I play my animation, I've got this flipping up and rotating into place. I right, stop there, we're gonna come back. We're gonna get into doing some more sophisticated animations, just a second.